All right, let's start this sucker up. Purrs <laughs> like a kitten. Hi, we're Kelly and Kevin. We're taking five days to drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco on the famous Pacific Coast Highway. We'll be exploring state parks, famous beaches, and the rugged coastline while staying in some awesome places along the way. Good morning. Greetings from Pebble Beach, California. Today we are doing something really exciting. Pebble Beach is known for its amazing resorts and the 17 mile drive, which is a paid road that goes 17 miles around some amazing coastlines. Apparently for their guests, they have a fleet of Lexuses. Lexi? Lexuses? The, you're free to take out and drive around. We are going to be getting in one of those Lexuses today and cruising around the coast and then joining them for a very nice lunch at their lodge. We're really excited to take this amazing car around the 17 mile drive and then maybe up and down the coast a little bit. Let's do it. Okay, we've checked in with the concierge and we've got our car. Look at that! Oh my God. So this is a Lexus LC 500. I'm not sure what year it is, but I'm assuming it's a 2020. It is beautiful and we have it for two hours. And this is a free perk that Pebble Beach guests get when you stay here. Um, we're not staying here, but we are doing this for the promotions. We are lucky today, and I hate to be wasting time standing here talking, so let's go, let's drive. All right, let's start this sucker up. Purrs <laughs> like a kitten. <laughs> I couldn't see over the dash. I had to lift my seat up. <laughs> We're riding pretty low. I'm going to be driving about five miles an hour. Along this drive, there are little pullouts everywhere. So we've stopped at the first one. It's the Ghost Tree Lookout. It's pretty cloudy, but it kind of works with the landscape a little bit. Very dramatic rocks, kind of eerie. I think we'll be making a lot of stops along the way. I just want to stay in that car. One of the most famous stops on the 17 mile drive is the Lone Cypress. It is the logo of the Pebble Beach Resorts and I'm sure you've seen tons of photos of it and we've stopped here to check it out. It's a little foggy still, uh, but I think it's starting to warm up a little bit and I really just wanna hurry up because I wanna drive this car, to be honest. By the way, we saw a line of people doing a cruise in their exotic cars. There were like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and stuff and they gave us the nod as they drove past. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> they were like, yeah, you're in the club. All right, it's Kevin's turn to drive. I think it was a little too close for him after I drove. I don't know, it's, it's tight. It's really hard to get in and it's out not, of. It's not super easy. But, uh, worth it. I didn't know what the speed limit was on this road. I was assuming that it was slow, so I'm going kind of slowly, but then I got a couple miles over the speed limit and a little thing popped up on my holographic speedometer that actually tells you what the speed limit is. It's pretty handy. I wanna go a lot faster than that, but 
After a little bit on the 17 mile drive, we decided to take it on PCH just to get a little more open road and really see what this vehicle can do. And it has a lot of pickup, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> just for anyone watching, I did not go over the speed limit there. I just accelerated really fast. <laughs> Just so you know. This has not only one oh crap handle, but two of them. One on each side. had a lot of fun driving this baby but it's time to get her back home unfortunately that went way faster than I thought it was going to and I think we've kept it a little bit longer than we were supposed to but we are going to be on our way back now alas we're back at Pebble Beach we have to give it back they're making us do it I'm sad but the good thing is we are having lunch at the bench which overlooks some of the greens so we get to watch people play golf while we're eating which sounds pretty good what do you think well i'm stoked i'm hungry yeah i'm hungry too Get some food all that accelerating gets the appetite up you know what i'm saying All right, we have made it to the bench at the lodge at Pebble Beach. We're having lunch here. It overlooks the golf course or part of the golf course and ocean, which is really cool. And the sun has come out. I ordered myself an Arnold Palmer, which I thought was really funny, but Kevin was not as amused by that. What? You want some Arnold Palmer? They're doing construction over here though, so the background noise is a little much, but it's okay. The food looks really good. Mine. All right, our appetizers have arrived, and we got some portobello mushroom fries with smoked cheddar and a tomato crumble. Good. <laughs> Portobello mushroom is really meaty. It's not too greasy though. It's got crunch, good good amount of salt, and the sauce is thick and cheesy, but not like overwhelming. Tomato crumble has goat cheese, basil, arugula, a little bit of radish, um, big tomatoes. It's really good. It's kind of warm. It's a nice warm plate. a little bit of sweet with the balsamic, but also a little bit of savory. Really good flavor, kind of crispy with the breadcrumb. You taste a little bit of the olive too. It's just delightful. We had to save our flatbread because the seagull just tried to get it. <laughs> it landed on our table. I was ready, I was ready for it. It was about to smack a bit. We have the bench burger and the short rib flatbread. We're gonna have to take some home, definitely. And we have desserts coming after this, so wear my stretchy pants. <laughs> <laughs> a little more well done than I'd like, but that's okay. Got avocado. And other stuff, I don't know, burger stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of this pizza. It has beef short rib and thick cut bacon on it with caramelized onions. Um, it's flatbread. Sorry. <laughs> sure looks like pizza though. Doesn't seem to make a difference to the seagulls. They want it either way. Real thin crust. It's got like an olive oily kind of sauce to it. Not too saucy. It's really crisp. Very, very savory meat on top. 
a lot of food, but oh man, the desserts look really good. So this restaurant has a wood fire oven where they make their flatbreads, but they also have a dessert, strawberries roasted with a delicious looking crust and caramel ice cream. Caramel ice cream? Cheesecake. Cheesecake ice cream. And a balsamic glaze. And I got a salted caramel budino, which budino basically just means pudding. So there's like caramel pudding and creme fraiche with salt on it and shortbread like french fries. Wow. Explosion of flavor. Lots of salt, lots of sugar. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this cheesecake ice cream going around. So it's really hot. So. Oh yeah, it's really good. It's got like a super warm strawberry syrup. Really crispy, kind of caramelized sugar crust. Ice cream cools it down just nice. It's really tasty. We're gonna see if we can get a couple Instagram shots at the lodge before we leave. The master at work. Hi. Oh my gosh, I am so full. We had such an amazing meal at the bench at the lodge at Pebble Beach. The bench at the lodge at Pebble Beach. Yes. The restaurant was the bench and it was at the lodge at Pebble Beach. Thank you so much to Pebble Beach for working with us. Driving that car was quite an experience and we did have more stuff planned for today but we ended up spending about three hours more at Pebble Beach than we thought we were going to so we scrapped the rest of the day and are gonna kind of rearrange just so we could relax and enjoy our experience and man that car was fun to drive <laughs> <laughs> yeah as soon as we got in it we pushed our lunch reservations back and we're like we're gonna keep this car as yeah long as we, can, we so. need to drive this more but yeah, yeah thank you so much to Pebble Beach for arranging that for us we had a really great time and we can't wait to come back We've made it to our hotel room. Tomorrow we are going kayaking uh, in a place where there's lots of sea otters and sea life. And I think we're just going to possibly see what there is to eat around here and then call it a night. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Be sure to continue to follow us along on our PCH road trip. You should probably subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. Yep. And we would love it if you commented on this video and dropped a like, that would really help support us. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you made it to this point, you are a trooper. And we will see you tomorrow. This is Kevin and the Awkward Tourist. Peace out. We've gotten our car. Oh wait, that's not it. <laughs> Fail. I was pointing at that one. Dirks have just arrived. I can't remember what they're called. What is this one? I don't know. No? You look right here, not at the screen.